Hey friends, welcome. I'm Rebecca. This is Body Illumination with me, Rebecca. Today we're doing a practice for kyphosis. What is kyphosis? It's excessive rounding through the upper back, sometimes structural, typically it's posture related. Our lifestyles in general contribute very much to this syndrome. If you're working on your posture, you'll definitely enjoy this practice. We're going to do some delicious upper back stretches and Pilates toning. Stick around to the end. I want to share with you my habit tracker, which will really help permeate these changes into your body. I'm using three blocks. I'm also using a couple of light dumbbells and a strap. You don't need any of those. If you don't have the blocks, I recommend grabbing a pillow. Let's start and feel better now. Okay, come to a comfortable seat, root down through your seat and listen to your body as we go through our whole practice today. We want to listen to our bodies, create that connection with our body. Maybe set an intention for your practice. What do you want to cultivate? Why are you here? Have better posture, better health, more energy. Let out a nice sigh. Take your arms up and out to the side and then round forward through the upper back. So you're going to push forward, chin towards your chest, now exhale here and then inhale, open the heart. And again, round through the upper back. Press, feel those shoulder blades moving down your back, chin towards your chest, and then open the heart up and back. And one more time, feel that exhale. And then inhale, lift up and release down. Now, if you have those dumbbells, grab onto the dumbbells, stay here with the arms, and you're gonna pull the shoulder blades onto your back body with just a little bend in your elbows. And then protract, you're gonna pull them away from each other. And again, squeeze, 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 squeeze the shoulder blades towards each other, and release, spread them apart. And let's do four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's press that down. And then we're gonna move on again, similar to what we just did. You're gonna take your hands onto your legs. We're gonna inhale, move forward, exhale, round through the upper back, come all the way around. Inhale and change sides. Exhale. And change sides again, inhale and exhale. Exhale. So back, bend forward, and then round and press back. And really enjoy this movement. Feel the spinal movement. Connect in with your breath, connect in with your body. Really exaggerate it, individualize it to what feels good. And one more time on each side. Okay, and let's come back through to center. Sit nice and tall, roll the shoulders onto your back. Let's come onto our backside. Let's keep the dumbbells accessible again. We're gonna come on down. So hold onto the backs of your legs, sit up nice and tall, and then round through the spine as you come onto your back. So from here, we're just gonna connect in with the breath. So inhale, reach the arms up and exhale, lower them down into the earth. Now inhale, lift up, articulate through the spine, tuck the tail, the lower back, middle back, and upper back, and lift up, and then articulate down, middle back, lower back, into the earth. And do that again. Inhale, lift, lower back, middle back, upper back, and reverse it, go down, upper back, middle back, and lower back all the way into the earth. Okay, now from here, grab onto those dumbbells again. We're gonna work with those shoulders. So pull the shoulder blades towards each other and then reach them away. Just feel that nice, delicious stretch. Pull the shoulder blades towards each other and then reach them away. 
and two more shoulder blades reach in squeeze reach through your fingertips and then away and release your dumbbells down okay let's tuck the tail come on up 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 hold your bridge move your chin away from your chest tucking the tail roll all the way down now extend one leg out roll over onto your belly we're going to move into a yin yoga pose so we're coming into what's called cobra and in the fitness pt rehab world it's very similar to an inhibitory stretch so we're staying here passively holding this posture so soften the musculature, soften your face, lift the heart up. Try not to effort here, just maybe wiggle your hips and let your body know that you're just gonna stay here and soften. Lifting the heart, lifting the head. And if this is too much for your head, I recommend using those blocks so you can build a little shelf here to support your head and lift it up like this or like this, you can keep your head down, okay? It should not be uncomfortable, okay? So let's even try this and maybe reach the arms back. So while you're in this pose, if for some reason you're saying this doesn't feel that good, you should feel an edge in a yoga pose, but you shouldn't feel discomfort, like a sharp edge. You should feel sensations though. So maybe play with your blocks to get into a position that feels right for your spine. Okay, we're coaxing the blood into the joints, working on the tissues, the fascia, the tendons, the ligaments. And just try to find stillness. No big deal if you just stay in a very mild cobra here. Okay, let's slowly release and wherever you were just come back up into Cobra so you can stay a little bit further up here or walk down a little further but just let's do some gentle neck rolls so drop your chin down take your right ear over to your right shoulder and then change slides nice and slowly take your chin back to center and over to the left and slowly come back towards center. Inhale, exhale, move towards the right. Very slow and gentle, inhale. Exhale, move towards the left. And lower yourself down into the earth. Drop your forehead down, wiggle out your hips. Press your hands into the earth. Now inhale, come on up, round through the upper back. Then open your heart, lower yourself down on your exhale. You're opening the heart. Gaze down, let's round through the upper back. On the exhale, you're lifting. Inhale, float yourself down. Okay, let's come back into the hips, into a child's pose. Now for this child's pose, 
I welcome you to use your blocks. So if you have a block accessible, go ahead and use that. We're gonna come on forward, walk ourselves down into the earth. Feel that nice, delicious stretch. Walk through the fingertips. Come on forward to the edge of your mat. Tent your hands and then release. And again, tent them, reach up and release. Then push down through the whole hand, spread it wide. Now, if you'd like to, come on up and you're gonna take your block up and place one elbow on top of the block. Your fingertips are reaching up towards the sky and then float down towards the earth. Feel the stretch in that right arm. So if the height is too intense, go ahead and take that block down lower and lower or maybe higher and higher. You're also welcome to extend the arm forward or back depending upon the intensity of the stretch. Breathing into the sensations, no big deal how high you go, just as long as you feel that sensation you can feel the shift, the tissues moving, the pulse inside of you, the breath, all those subtle nuances, soften, soften, soften. And let's change sides. Take the block over, place your left elbow on. Okay, push into the earth, let's come back up. So we're going to come into a spine stretch forward. So you're gonna extend your legs out from underneath you, flex your feet, and if you feel rounding through the lower back, I encourage you to sit up on a block. So we're gonna stretch our arms out in front of us, inhale. Then as you exhale, you're gonna tuck the chin towards your chest and start to round through the upper back. Feeling that stretch all through the back side of your body, but pull the belly muscles in and then come all the way back up and sit up nice and tall. Inhale, fill up. As you exhale, drop the chin towards your chest, rounding through the upper back, but my shoulders are gonna stay on my, up, on my upper body, okay? So they're not rounding forward. Plug them down, scoop. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Now turn towards the left, same thing. Exhale, round forward, scooping into the upper body, the, the belly. Find a C shape and then sit up nice and tall. Change sides, exhale over the right leg. And stretch up nice and tall. Twist towards the left, exhale. As you come on up, cinch your waist, lift, 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 open the heart, spread the collarbones, twist, round through the spine, scoop into the belly. And feel that articulation, up, 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 up. So you're getting your mobility into the upper back, come back towards center. 
Okay, now crisscross your legs, come back towards the center of your mat for a moment. And we are going to grab our strap if you have it. If you don't, no big deal, just do the exercise without it. Now I want you to think about your arms like two wings. Sit up tall. If you feel yourself pulling forward, then take the arms slightly forward, okay? Try to keep your spine nice and long. And if you have a wall accessible, if you're near a wall, then sit back up against the wall. Pull the, the, the strap nice and taut, and then pull it down, straight down, and hold. Lifting the heart, lifting the heart, pulling the elbows down, and then gently press back, press back, press back with your forearms. Lift the heart, lift the heart. Connect to the breath. Soften the facial structure and release, come back up. Let's do that again. Pull it down. And you can gently just squeeze the shoulder blades in towards each other and then release it, come on up. As you pull down, squeeze the shoulder blades towards each other. Lift the heart, soften the face. Pull the shoulder blades in very subtly. Pull the elbows down and release. Now take the arms straight up, nice and tall, and just a little bit of tension on the band. So you don't need the band. You can actually press a block between your hands too, and then lift up and side bend up and over to your right. Pull yourself back to center, keeping the shoulder blades on your back body. Inhale, get long. Exhale, lift up and over to your left. And come back to center. Again, inhale, get long. Exhale, up and over to your right. Now inhale, little lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, little lift. Pull the belly in. Exhale, lower. Inhale, little lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Now take the right hand down, drop your strap, and then twist open. Nice breath. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale. Again, if this is too much, you're more than welcome to take that left arm down, maybe behind you into a half bind. Continue to revolve open. Open the heart. Soften the face. Now from here, take the hand behind your head and then come on down and lift back up. And come back down and lift up. One more time, come down, release the hand, lift back up, come towards center. Just hold on to the strap again. Let's take the arms up and overhead, and then we're gonna inhale, get tall. Exhale, reach up and over towards the left side. Now, tiny lift, ready? Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Small movements, inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift, exhale. I want you to feel this in your core. Feel your sits bones reaching into the earth. If you're feeling yourself pushing down with your butt cheeks, don't make it as big, okay? Just make it a little smaller. And then stay here, release the hand down. Drop your strap, revolve open and twist. Mm. Soften your face, let out a nice sigh. Mm. Connect to that breath. Hand stays behind your head. Hold on to it, ready? We're gonna come on down and then we're gonna lift up. Inhale, exhale, come down. Inhale, lift, 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 lift. Exhale. Inhale. Come back down, release your hand and come back up and come back to center. Okay, let's turn again. 
come onto your backside, we're gonna move into another yin pose. So I encourage you to use your blocks and you're going to do a nice heart opener. So you want to take the block either on the low side or a pillow, or you can take it a little bit higher across the shoulder blades or this way right between the shoulder blades or this way. Then you're going to keep a second block accessible so you're going to drape yourself over that block and your head is going to rest on the second block. For some of us, this is a little bit too much. If you're really tight in the upper back or the neck, that's okay. You can just lie on a pillow between the shoulder blades. You're still getting a nice heart opener. And make sure when you're moving in and out of this to be mindful of your neck. So I don't want you to just haul your head back, support it, okay? I'm very comfortable with back bending, so this works fine for me. Now, optional, you're gonna take your hands, interlace them, and take them behind your head, and then open your heart up. And if that is a little too much sensation, then take the arms down by your side into goalpost arms, or all the way down and soften here. Now support your head and gently roll off of your blocks. Come on to your side, pause here for a moment. Then come on to your backside. And from here, we're just going to look from side to side. Windshields, wipe your legs across the room a couple of times. And let's finish in final relaxation. So extend your legs out. Just give yourself a moment to absorb your practice. Flip your palms up, close your eyes. And let go of that mental and emotional stress. Just surrender to it. Remember a lot of the stress in our body comes from that emotion. Sometimes when it's too intense, whether bad or good, we hold it in our body, so just let it go. Find ease in the breath. Let's wiggle the fingers and the toes, stretch open your jaw. Gently roll over to one side, pause here for a moment. And come on up to a seated pose. Okay, my friends, beautiful, beautiful job today. Thank yourself for coming. Bring your hands to your heart center and up to your forehead. Namaste, my beautiful friends. Thank you for coming and shining your light today with me on the mat and making your body and your world better. If you enjoyed this video, you should definitely check out my video for better posture. It's a seven minute, under seven minute protocol that you can do and it comes with a habit tracker that you can download, print out, 
and do throughout the day. So if your lifestyle is impacting your posture and your body, whether it's with kyphosis or postural imbalances, then doing these exercises in addition to your yoga flows will have big, big beneficial effects and long lasting changes, which is what we want to do. So go check that out and have a beautiful day. Thank you again. Namaste.